And breaking news on the Washington Commanders, Congress believes the team may have committed a crime and kept money that belonged to fans. Thank you for being here with us. I'm Lorenzo Hall. Here's what you need to know right now. The House Oversight Committee says it has evidence that would suggest Commanders owner Dan Snyder may have cheated the team's fans and the NFL out of money. And this was all laid out in a letter sent to the Federal Trade Commission. It's a big story, so we're going big too. Eric Flack is talking with fans and the team. But first, I want to get to Sports Director Darren Haynes, who's been digging into the details of this alleged scheme. And D, how much money are we talking about here? <laughs> we're talking about millions, though. I mean, the House Oversight Committee sent this 20-page letter to the Federal Trade Commission today. The letter says the Washington Commanders may have withheld as much as $5 million in refundable deposits from more than 2,000 season ticket holders. The letter also claims the committee has evidence the team kept two sets of financial books in order to hide funds owned to the NFL. And financial improprieties may have extended to tickets registered in the league's commissioner Roger Goodell's name. These allegations are largely based on information coming from former commander's sale executive Jason Friedman, who worked with the team for 24 years. Friedman states that, quote, deceptive practices began in 2009. The allegations of financial improprieties came to light as the Oversight Committee continues to review documents and interview witnesses in regards to the Washington commander's workplace culture and the NFL's handling of the matter. Now, in the letter addressed to the FTC, the Oversight Committee says, given the Federal Trade Commission's authority to investigate unfair or deceptive business practices, we are providing the information and documents uncovered by the committee for your review to determine if the commanders violated any provision of law enforced by FTC and whether further action is warranted. Now, if these allegations are true, that's fraud. Now, speaking to some former employees of the Washington Commanders today, they say they are proud of Jason Friedman's courage to come forward. But the mood also amongst the former employees is fear that owner Dan Snyder may respond in a way that will instill fear in those who continue to come forward. Hmm. Well, the House Oversight Committee D certainly coming to the table with a lot of specifics here. And, you know, this news has everybody talking today, especially the fans. I want to get to our chief investigative reporter, Eric Flack, live at FedEx Field right now in Flack. Let's start with the team. How are they responding tonight? Well, so they aren't saying much. At least they're not saying much that's new. When WUSA 9 reached out to the team for comment on these latest allegations, they sent us a nearly two week old statement that they initially put out amid the early reports that the House Financial Committee was investigating some sort of financial improprieties. But let's let you read that March 31st statement. The team categorically denies any suggestion of financial impropriety of any kind at any time. We adhere to strict internal processes that are consistent with industry and accounting standards, are audited annually by a globally respected independent auditing firm, and are also subject to regular audits by the NFL. We will continue to cooperate fully with the committee's work. Now, fans I spoke with are really just frustrated after another alleged scandal rocks this team. Just listen to one, like he's had season tickets for more than a decade, a real loyal season ticket holder. And I asked him if this was gonna be the straw that finally cost Dan Snyder the team. There's been other you know things that have happened in the past, you know, um, you know different topics that may have thought, wow, okay, is this really the time where he's going to be forced out? And he wasn't. Uh, I, I don't know if he's been being protected by the other owners. I, I don't know exactly what's happening. I try not to, you know, look too far into that. But, um, you know, I, I would hope so. <laughs> As a fan of the team, I, I, you know, I would really like to see a different direction. Yeah, and I can tell you from talking to other fans, he is not alone. This is certainly not good news for a team who's seen home attendance out here at FedEx Field drop from first in the league to second to last in less than 20 years. Allegations of taking advantage of fans is not going to do a lot to regain fans' trust. So, yeah, that's for sure. The team's losing record, we know, is one thing, Flack, but when you start talking about money and fraud, that is a totally different yep. dynamic. Correct. Eric Flack, thank you, right. my friend. And you